Sunrise in Scranton is the start of another day of railroading for several railroads that serve northeastern Pennsylvania. Over in town, the Class 1 Norfolk Southern is making its then daily sprint south from Binghamton, New York to Enola, Pennsylvania on the mixed manifest freight train, the indelible 11Z. And today, something special is in the power consist. The Lackawanna Heritage Unit is making a rare appearance on its northeastern native rail.
The Kaiser Valley Track was once home to the Lackawanna Railroad and its large yard and shops. Today, it's home to the Reading and Northern and several of its customers. The biggest customer in the Kaiser Valley is the Kane Warehouse which is serviced every day except Saturday. It can receive up to a dozen or more insulated and cryogenic boxcars such as the BX-166 that we talked about in Box Stars Part 1. The Kane boxcars are cut away to be spotted later in the day. And while conductor Sam hops on board, I can take a minute to tell you about today's workload. The first car, that center beam that's loaded with lumber, is going to be the first to be dropped off. It's going to 7D Lumber, located about a mile up the line. Prior to 2017, 7D Lumber was the single sole customer on the Diamond Branch track that's owned by the Northeastern Regional Rail Authority and operated by the Delaware Lackawanna. It received boxcars of various types, including high cubes, along with a rare center beam from time to time. Don't know what happened or how it went down, but somewhere along the way, the RNN was able to wrangle that business away from the DL in 2016 and move it over to its ostensibly greener pastures on the west side of town where 7D Lumber resides to this very day. All is not lost though. The Diamond Branch has since been revitalized with a new customer as I'll be highlighting in a future video. Once the center beam has been dropped, the train will go a little further north to the Scranton runaround track, run around the boxcars, head back this way and about another one mile behind us and spot them at the day's second customer. Now at that customer, note that third boxcar behind the locomotives. That's the empty that was picked up at 7D Wholesale when the center beam was set out.
Conductor Sam and Engineer Ronnie are headed back up to the cane warehouse where they'll wait for the empty boxes to be released later in the afternoon. Once clear to do so, the empties will be pulled out and the loads put in, much like you saw with the first two customers. Once the cane warehouse has been served, the crew will go north again to the Scranton runaround and just like the first time, run around the empties to bring back home to Pittston Yard. Along the way, they'll pick up the empty Hartford and Slocum, that's the HS boxcar that was just dropped along with the now empty rail box and Mississippi Delta Railroad boxcars. Just call it another day in Scranton, PA.